Hey guys, what's up? We feel like we're a little bit canted. We're gonna roll with it. Maybe we're a little bit canted. I don't know, but we're gonna roll with it. We have a package today, and this one really is thanks, I'm gonna try to say your name correctly, J.D. Horvath. I hope I said that right, but you asked me a question about reviewing the We The People, uh, not holster, belt. You asked me that, I sent that question along to We The People, and they sent me out a belt to look at. So we're gonna open it up today and get our first impressions. So let's look at it. All right, so yes, this is, well, if I can open it. Ah. There we go. All right, so this is the tactical gun belt with talon buckle, and I got the large. I hope that's the right size. Um, hope that's the right thing. And again, thank you, JD. That is what it is, right? I'm just going to call you JD. JD. Thank you, JD, for the question, the comment, whatever. And that, honestly, that is why I got this today. Um, because people asked about it, and we're going to look at it. So you get your little box. You get your little holster. The box is the box. It's not a holster. I keep saying holster. Because I do holster reviews for them, but I've never done the belt review. So... Let's see, this is, is this a two piece? This is a one piece, this is a one piece. So this is like a thick, look how thick that is. This is a one piece, yes, this is a very thick one piece belt. This looks like it's three pieces. So it looks like three layers of whatever this webbing kind of material is. I don't know if it shows up in there or not, but it looks like um, three layers. It's so big, yay big, whatever I'm trying to say. And then you have your little Cobra kind of buckle thingy. Um, looks like you adjust your size with this thingy, right? So you can adjust your size, yada, yada. So much, so much. Okay, so what we're going to do real quick, is this guy come off or he just slides? Let's see. Looks like this is elastic. So this is your belt keeper, it looks like. Maybe it's not the belt keeper. Yeah, that's a belt keeper. It's built in place, it looks like. But you also have this belt keeper, which I don't think this is a belt keeper. I think they and they want this to be like a magazine carrier or something like that. I'm not sure how that will roll, but we're going to try that. Um, so I'm going to take off the holster that I have now, which is not a We The People holster, but I'm going to put on a We The People holster. I'm going to take off another company's belt. This probably looks really awkward, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to Y'all can't even see what's going on, but that's okay. We're going to put this on, right? And we're going to put this on this way. How do you feed this thing through? We'll fold it on this way. I think that's how we're supposed to do it. Right? So this should go through standard belt loops. These are Wrangler pants from Walmart. I wear these things all the time. Um, not specific because of the brand, just they're a... Uh, Kind of like a men's yoga pants, but they're not really yoga pants at all because they have belt loops and, and pockets and all that stuff. So not really, I don't know, I had a buddy of mine call them that, and I just kind of called them that ever since. Because they kind of are true, they have the slightest bit of stretch to it. So if you get chunky, then, uh, you know, you don't have to buy new pants right away. Maybe I'm putting this thing on wrong, but bear with me. All right, well now you can kind of see this. Um, so that's going to be something to get used to a little bit of how to put this thing on. It is the right size for my belt loops, that's for sure. These are just Wrangler pants from, uh, wow, this looks really weird. Uh, but these are Wrangler pants from Walmart, right? I just like them just because they work and they're whatever, they're pants. But they're just regular pants, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, basically, to get this thing through, it's easier to take the little buckle thingy off, at least until I figure out the proper way to do it. I don't know if that's the proper way to do it or not. Um, but this little buckle, little part of the Cobra buckle, or whatever style of buckle it is, I think it's a Cobra buckle. Um, it's easier to take it off and make sure you put it back on properly in the right orientation. So this is a little bit not as straightforward maybe as some, some, uh, some other belts that I've used maybe. Or again, I could be completely doing it wrong. I don't think I am, because I don't know how else you would do this. But uh, let's just see real quick. Let's get it on. Let's tighten it up for, here we go, a We The People holster. And I like to carry appendix because if you carry something besides appendix, then I don't know what you're doing. So we'll tighten this down a little bit. And that works. 
And that works. Okay, so hold on. Let's adjust some stuff. All right, so if we adjust some stuff and we run our buckle a little bit over, not on this second loop like a lot of times I have to do, but the buckle itself we can push over a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't stick out too much. Then we can put in our holster, right, at the claw and all that goodness. And it should hide everything properly, right? You have plenty of room there for how stuff's supposed to work. The claw does its job. It's a nice, it seems like it's a, it's a thick belt, obviously. So it should work well enough to push in that little claw piece. Um, we are pretty much, I'm a 34, that's my pants size at least. Um, and pretty much, we could tighten this thing up a little bit more. Um, but the way that this guy is, that's as far back as that Velcro is going to attach back here. So that's about as tight as we're going to get it. Um, if I needed to get it tighter, I could. It'd just have a little flap hanging off the back. But anyway, that's a quick little first look. My first impressions is it's a little bit complicated to get on. Just a little bit. Whereas some other belts, you can easily slide it through and everything, and then it hooks up, right? This is a little bit beefier belt, maybe. And so it's a little bit more, um, what you call involved to get put on if that makes any sense um, I like the buckle that's kind of cool um, but yeah so that's my first little initial thoughts uh, we will run this just like we've run anything else from any other company we will give it a fair shake we'll wear it we'll put it through actual use we will see what happens um, and that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna see what happens whether it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad that's what I've always told anybody and everybody that sent me anything if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, right? If it's bad, generally I give them a, a fair shake and I try to give them some feedback so that maybe they can fix whatever the bad thing was with it. If it's good, then I just tell people, good products are good products and they should speak for themselves, but sometimes you have to have somebody say it or you don't know about it. Like me, I don't think I've ever really looked up any legit reviews of this belt. And when I did, it was just like one review out there. It was very long, kind of like this video was. So we're going to keep it short. We're going to cut it short. And that's a first look, first look-see. Um, and then we will actually do the review at another time when we actually have time with the thing. So between now and then, right, um, if you see this relatively soon, let me know if there's anything specific about the belt that you want to know, right? If you're looking at getting this belt, if you're looking at gun belts, not gun belts, not gun belts. Gun belts are like outside the waistband or not outside. Yeah, outside the waistband. But gun belts where you hang a bunch of stuff on, that's not really what this is. This is a like an EDC stylish belt. You wear this thing, right? And you wear it on your regular pants and you carry stuff on it if you want to carry stuff on it, right? It's not a war belt. That's what I'm looking for. So if you're looking for an EDC belt and you're looking at the We The People version, let me know what questions you have and I can address those in the actual review. All right, that's it. Thank you, JD, again. I really appreciate it, and thank you, Weedy People, for sending this belt out. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will get those answered as promptly and as thoroughly as I can in the actual review, all right? Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate it, and hopefully we'll catch you on the next video.